So I'm not sweating profusely and mad and trying to curb my anger. So I'm good. So this is a great memories being back under this, standing under this podium, though. Great memories being back in this building. Uh, there's got to be something in the water in Wisconsin because all these people here in the Bradley Center, you see Steve and David, I mean, they, they haven't aged a bit. It's amazing. I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's amazing. So it is, uh, when you're around family, when you're around people that really mean something to you, um, you just kind of pick up right from where you left off. And that's one of the great things about being back here tonight. That's one of the great things about Marquette. And if I could sum up what it meant to be a part of Marquette for nine years and to be at this event tonight, I would say that this is a clear example of no one uh, is bigger than the program in the university, but everyone that was a part of it helped make the program what it is. And I commend Steve and everybody for, for putting this together the way that they have. This is, is, is uh, just absolutely uh, incredible to look forward to, and I think it's going to be even far greater when we remember it and we remember the night. And obviously the only thing that uh, uh, will be tough is, is none of us will see each other as long as we would like tonight, but at the same time to get a chance to see people that mean so much to you I bring my family back here tonight. Uh, I'm going to meet some families, uh, meet children for the first time, uh, people that I knew when they were children, you know, when I was recruiting them at 15, 16, 17 years of age. And so those type of things, uh, uh, they're, 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 they're not bittersweet. They're awesome. You know, they're, they're just absolutely awesome to be able to come back into an environment like this at a place that uh, means, not just meant, but means so much uh, to us, to Joni and myself as, as, as parents, as adults, uh, and uh, means so much to us as being a part of a family. So it's great to be here. Go ahead, John. Throw it out there. Yeah, a couple of weeks, yeah. Talk about that when you look back at it. The first big well, absolutely. Well, you know, it's funny because uh, we're moving our daughter to California tomorrow. We're moving that little cheerleader who had her, her, her head on my uh, arm uh, in that picture. We're moving her to California, and she just graduated from Indiana. So it, it, is, it is amazing. Riley is 18 and got drafted by the White Sox uh, last week. And he's in a position now where, where he wasn't even born when I had that press conference. So as we were getting ready, we're getting ready to move ourselves. Our family's getting ready to move to Sarasota, Florida. So we've been doing a lot of packing up and moving things around. And it's amazing how many great pictures we've come across over the last couple of weeks. And that one was a prominent one that was always displayed uh, in our home and in my office, whether it was at Marquette or at Indiana. And I think it's just a culmination of the, it, when I see that, I just, I, I have great memories of not only the beginning, but uh, the journey of getting to where we were in nine years, the journey of, of building it up, the journey of, of, of going to the Final Four, the journey of building it back up again, and uh, going through all the different things that we dealt with. And uh, I, I have nothing but great memories, because even the tough days uh, shaped us to get us to some great memories. Exactly. And, and we knew they were coming. But uh, for a long, long time, and I give Todd, well, Todd didn't do the artistic work on this, but there was a, uh, the Golden Eagle uh, right after the season. It was, it was busted in pieces. Do you remember that? There was a story. I know it wasn't you. You wrote the story. But it wasn't you with the art. But I kept that art forever. That was like a motivational piece to me. Uh, not only at that period of time, but I kept that till maybe just a couple years ago when I was cleaning some things out and I finally let it go. But that you always had to create um, some other motivation, right? And, and, and I knew what we were building. I knew what had happened. Uh, I knew what it felt like to lose Travis Diener, you know, when we did. And so many things would have been different uh, at that point. And uh, uh, 
to have that that drive to get this back to where it needed to be and and to overcome what we had lost in the sense of graduation to overcome what we had lost in the sense of some transfers and things like that and to have those guys here and then knowing going into that season we were picked 12th in the league in the new big east and uh to get it you know get one of the top four seeds go into the tournament to have the yukon win um so many great memories inside of that but that's that's part even the tough days even the tough headlines and the tough uh, photos those things shape you they shape you to a to a great place and i wouldn't have uh, uh that's that's as big a part of the drive and determination to win and to succeed and to help people be better and to push them to a another level is anything else you could go through and i really respect all that time Um, I take more pride in the fact of how, how people have turned out, you know, how, the, the, the camaraderie, uh, the togetherness, the, 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 the friendships that were made by the players, going back all the way into our first year here, you know, when we took over uh, from Mike Dean. That, that's the stuff to me. And, and, and um, I think, you know, when you sit and think about it, and tonight it'll be like that, you'll, you'll have memories and you'll talk about this game or that locker room moment or – that bus rider, that meeting, Travis Diener picked me up today and he just brought us over here and we've already recanted, I think, about 10 things, right, in a short period of time. That's great. But when I look at the pride factor, especially now that I have three children of my own, one that's getting ready to go off on her own now, it, as I look back at that, that's where the great sense of satisfaction is because those tough days, uh, they help shape that. And, and to me, I've, I've gotten some incredible letters uh, and incredible phone calls or text messages uh, over the nine years that I was gone. And then following them on Instagram and following their, the, the, the pictures of the children when they're born or their birthdays or first moments. Joni's done a great job with that, but then I'll see things. And that, that's the stuff. It doesn't lessen your drive anymore for, as a coach or for somebody that wants to win. In fact, it probably fuels it because you know what it looks like when you get around the right people. And we had the right people at Marquette. We were surrounded by the right people. We were surrounded by a great university and great fans. Tom, when was the last time that you've been back to Marquette? And simply, just what is it like to be here again? Last time I was here was literally here when um, our 2003 team went into the, uh, to the Hall of Fame. So it would have been, what, Scott, 2009? Yeah. Okay. And... Um, that was the last time. It was the last time I've been uh, in this building. It was the last time I've been, I think it might have been, it might have been to Milwaukee a couple of times, but I have not been back really in this environment since then. Is that weird now? Can you imagine when you're about that? No, it, it's, it's not. It, it's, um, uh, Milwaukee was always to me, I mean, watching Milwaukee rise and grow and develop and, and see the city be the way that it was, that stuff was always great. And uh, no, it's just, it's memory lane. Right. I mean, it's memory lane for me. It's we pull up at the Intercontinental Hotel. That's where we stayed at when we were at Michigan State. The year we went to the final four, I walked down the street to interview for the job in the Hyatt with Bill Cords. You know, those type of memories hit quick. And there, there's so many in here. But the great thing for me tonight is to come back and see people and and uh, and, and connect. Because like I said earlier, really, when you have great family and when you have real love inside of a group you literally you pick up where you left off and 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 it throws everything else out and there you are and you're with your people and it just means a lot so it's not that weird yeah I have no idea I have no idea I, I was asked that question the other day by Matt Velasquez I've never been in the building when I've well, I've been booed in this building. You know, there's no question about that. But uh, I was the coach. But, but uh, I said this to Matt the other day. I look at that as a sign of respect, right? If, if uh, We must have been doing a good job. We left it in pretty good shape. Guys like Wes Matthews and, and Jarrell McNeil, Dominique James, Lazar Hayward, Buzz Williams did a great job. Uh, and uh, they continued to have success. So that doesn't affect me much. It, it, if... Uh, uh, I, I, I hope they respect it. Uh, I love the fact that people continue to treat this program like one of the great programs in the country, of which it is, without question. Uh, but the most important thing for me is to have a chance to come back and reconnect with people that mean a lot to me. And with, go ahead, last um, and with the 15th year anniversary of the 2003 Final Four team coming up, what 
how is your relationship been specifically with Wade and some of the other 2003 Final Four? Well, you should address him as Mr. Wade after everything that he did here. So, but I'm just kidding. Uh, my relationship is great, right? I can, uh, um, when, 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 when our job was taken at Indiana, within five days I heard from eight players on my first team at Marquette. Okay, that, that's, that's family, right? So that 2003 team, when we had the reunion, it was, it was tremendous. Uh, there's very few that I don't have um, a pretty consistent communication with. Some may be a little more sporadic than others, but there's not one that I wouldn't drop what I'm doing and help in a minute. And I hope, uh, I hope that uh, all our players would feel that way because we had some great times in here. And uh, that's what makes it special.